Hey everybody, how's it going? This is uh, me. My name is Joel Whitman. I'm with my daughter Sage. Sage, will you say hi? Hi. Hi. She just ate some blueberries, so got that going on. Were those blueberries tasty? Okay, good. Well, hey, I thought it would be great if I made a video about working from home, especially in light of recent events. Working from home is a difficult thing. It, I'm sure, is a massive transition for so many people who worked in office jobs, and now they have to work from a home office, a living room, a bathroom, a bedroom, really anywhere where kids aren't can be really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> to find a quiet place to work, it can be, it can be a <laughs> difficult thing. I remember when I first started working from home, it was super difficult. It's really hard to focus, but then also I had a really hard time focusing when I was working anywhere because I'm an ENFP or a type seven on the Enneagram and you know, we have a short attention span sometimes. Or you know, we're just interested in lots of things. That's, that's the thing, it's, a, it's not an issue, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. Anyway, so I've been working from home for over six years now and I think I have some good tips for you that will be helpful. Try them out, let me know what you think. The first tip is take a shower and get dressed. It's really easy when you, <laughs> you start your day to bypass all the normal stuff and just to wear your pajamas all day. But trust me, you do not wanna do that. You'll feel gross. You won't be productive. And, right, I know, that's pretty funny. Uh, you won't be productive and you will be probably too comfortable and it'll make you go to nappy town a little bit too much during the day. Okay, my second piece of advice is have a start time, have a lunch time, break time, and have an end time. Um, another thing that's really easy is to start your day way too late. Like sometimes working from home, I don't get started till like 11 in the morning and that's not okay. And then I have to like, I feel like I have to work till like seven at night, maybe nine at night, or just work all night to make up for that lost time. So I strongly suggest that you still have a normal yes yeah you can say something daddy works all day and all night to make to spend the time daddy needs to get money yes and what do, what do i get money for business mm -hmm. is there anything else i use money for uh help help helping yes <laughs> Right, that's a good reason to make money is to help, help our family and help others, right? After, after, you're, after, you're, after, you're, after we're done with this video, you can make your own video for sure. Okay, so have a start time, have a lunch time, have an end time, and this will also really help your spouse. Which, side note, one of the biggest reasons I'm making this video is not for you, I'm making it for your spouse. Your spouse will thank me, trust me, I've driven my wife crazy for about, well, ever since I've known her. Happy stuff. Yeah, and uh, and th trust me, your spouse will thank you if you follow these things for sure. So have a have a start time, lunch time, do break times, and then have an end time, a clear end time that everyone can expect. Okay, tip number three: don't work in a living space. Uh, try to get away. That'll be really helpful. It's easy just to like put on like throw up your laptop and sit on the living room in the living room. It's usually not helpful. Um, the other number four is this is a funny one utilize the mute button. You're gonna be doing phone calls. Uh, you're gonna wanna have the mute button like ready at any minute, cause mm -hmm. kids could barge in the room. Your wife might call something out from the other side of the house, not knowing that you're on the phone with a client and ask you for something that maybe no one else should hear about. I'm not speaking from like, you know, experience, just purely hypothetical. It could get embarrassing. Also, make sure you test out the, the, the sensitivity of your microphone because um, clients might be able to hear your wife whisper things to you that you didn't think they would be able to, uh, they'd be able to hear. Okay, the other thing, not yet, wait for me to finish. Number five, walk outside as much as possible and get exercise and vitamin D. Okay, when you're working at an office, usually you're gonna be like getting up, going and getting water, going and get a coffee, going to the bathroom, talking to people, socializing, getting at least some level of exercise. Make sure you stop throughout the day and get some intentional exercise, even if it's just walking and talking on the phone or just brainstorming, something like that. 
And then the <laughs> the other thing, <laughs> oh, also do push-ups. Push-ups are super helpful. Um, they help you, if you start to feel fatigued, um, don't take a nap and don't drink coffee. Just get down and do 20 push-ups. It'll get your blood going and it'll get your heart going and it'll help you out a lot. Okay, the next thing. Um, oh, number six, get as much healthy human interaction as possible. Now this is really relevant for me. I'm an extrovert. I need human interaction, but I would imagine even if you're an introvert being alone all day and working on a task, it's gonna be hard to like be accountable to complete your work and stay focused. Having human interaction will hold you accountable to the task at hand. Make sure you have regular conversations with people from your team. And don't just stick to text. Hey Sage, please be quiet. Wait until I have one more question. No, I have a few more, but I, I need you to be quiet Three for just... more? Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, you got it. Um, the next one. Uh, th what I was saying before about take intentional breaks. If you start to feel fatigued, uh, take a break. Go do push-ups. Get away from your computer. Maybe get out of the house. Then come back and you'll have uh, a new mindset. Your brain will reset, that helps a lot. Uh, another tip, uh, this is tip number, I think number eight, maybe, is don't watch YouTube. Stay off YouTube, stay off Netflix, stay off all of it, you'll just go down the rabbit hole. And that's what you do at home anyway, so it's really hard to like break that association. It's like, oh, I'm home, I'm comfortable, it's entertainment time. But you have to stay away from all those things and stay on task. Don't go on YouTube while you're working. Um, then, last but not least, last but not least, that sounded wrong the way I said that. Last but not least, yeah, last but not least. Welcome the interruptions. If you feel resistant to interruptions, you will be fighting through your entire day to make sure you were not interrupted, which will cause so much stress. So what I've learned in six years of working from home is when your toddler breaks into the room and wants to hang out with you, let her do it. Just let her have a few minutes and then leave and make sure that it's very clear to your kids that when daddy's on the phone, mommy's on the phone, you leave them alone and be quiet. So um, set up some rules with your kids. Um, you are in the house, it's gonna be confusing to them. And that's the thing that's driven my wife nuts is that like, I'm here, but I'm not really here. I'm like, I'm here and I'll come down if we're doing something fun, but don't rely on me to actually like cook a meal or something, right? And that can be really annoying. So. Make sure that you welcome the interruptions, that you still pitch in, but you make it very clear. Communicate, 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 hmm. communicate, communicate, communicate about what the people in your house should expect. That will help a ton. Anyway, okay, so these have been, what is that, nine tips, eight tips? I don't know how many tips that is. It's some great tips uh, that I think will help you. It's helped me out a ton. It's helped my marriage. It's helped my work. It's helped my children. Two. Do you have anything else you'd like to say, Sage? Uh, thank you for watching this video. Yeah, thank you. All right, you want to push the button?